continue to explore page options in Google Sites, now let's try to add a new page. This time, we're going to create an announcement page. And of course, I'm going to select an announcement page, and I'll go ahead and put it still at the same top level. I'd like you to see what happens with this case. Now, when an announcement page is created, you suddenly get this word, new post. Almost a great way to think about blogging or something like that. When I put in a new post, it suddenly says, okay, title it. So we'll title it. Okay, and I will go ahead and click Save. Pay attention over on the sidebar under the word Announcement and see what happens. Okay, what you noticed is from the Announcement page, it creates sub-pages. So I literally can go back to my announcement page and you're going to see that this is a new post and I can click on it and it will give me that information. I can click new post again. We'll call this post 2. We'll hit save and now check it out. There you go. So you can see where it becomes a running kind of of a blog sort of thing. Each blog or each one is its own page.